This video illustrates how you might set up your Buffalo Terra Station NAS device with the StorageCraft Shadow Protect Disaster Recovery Solution and StorageCraft Virtual Boot for Hyper-V. This functionality raises your NAS device beyond simply a storage device and provides you with the ability to virtualize StorageCraft backup image files as native Hyper-V VMs running on your Buffalo Terra Station. First, if you haven't already, you will want to add the Hyper-V role to the Windows Storage Server 2012 R2 running on your Buffalo Terra Station NAS. Start by opening Server Manager and selecting Add Roles and Features from the dashboard. Select your NAS from the server pool and then add the Hyper-V server role and required features. Be sure to include your network adapter as an available virtual switch by checking the appropriate box. If the default path for your virtual hard disks points to the system volume, a best practice would be to point the location to a data volume instead. Be sure to change both the hard disk drive files path and the virtual machine configuration files path before beginning the Hyper-V role installation. Once the Hyper-V role installation is successfully completed, you can move on to the next step. The next step includes installing the StorageCraft Virtual Boot plugin for Hyper-V. You can download this free plugin from the StorageCraft website. StorageCraft.com slash Virtual Boot will get you to the product page and then you can navigate to the Hyper-V plugin download. Simply run the installation wizard with the defaults and you'll have the plugin up and running in no time. Now that you've added the Hyper-V role and installed the StorageCraft Virtual Boot plugin, you're ready to virtualize your ShadowProtect backup image files as a native Hyper-V virtual machine running directly on your Buffalo Terra Station NAS. Simply open the Image Chain browser in your pre-installed ShadowProtect SPX user interface, select a recovery point from the list, and then click the Virtual Boot icon. If you've encrypted your backup files, you will be prompted for the password at this point. Now, provide a machine name for your new virtual machine, allocate memory, and choose either to immediately virtual boot the device or simply to create the virtual machine for later use. Once the virtual boot process completes, you will be able to access the virtual machine in Microsoft's Virtual Machine Manager. By default, a new virtual machine is created as a standalone or sandbox device with the network connections disabled. The virtual boot technology includes a hardware independent restore process, making it just as easy to virtual boot backup image files from a physical production system as it is to virtual boot backup files from your virtual environment. Please contact your local Buffalo or StorageCraft representative for more information or check us out online.